Welcome to the project demonstration of GSM based embedded web server for substation monitoring and controlling system. So here uh, substation readings are monitoring uh, through this SCADA board. So here we are using the two potentiometers along with temperature sensor as well as frequency uh, using this PC817 optocoupler. So using these three modules we are going to measure the voltage, current, temperature and frequency directly by using PIX16F876A microcontroller and the same data will be monitoring on the 16 by 2 LCD screen and also for controlling purpose we are using this electromagnetic relay and uh, we can send the SMS commands uh, to this GSM module uh, to the SIM card to on or off this electromagnetic relay which will act as a circuit breaker in our project and also for abnormal conditions so if the voltage is above 245 and if the current is above 100 uh, and if the voltage is below 180 volts and if the temperature is above 45 degrees centigrade and uh, if the frequency is zero then uh, based on these three conditions uh, four conditions the system will send the sms alerts to the registered phone number so here uh, we are not going to register any phone number here directly when we switch on the gate we need to send the help message to the sim card which we have inserted in this one that particular uh, message uh, will be read by the microcontroller and it will extract the phone number and that will be stored inside the microcontroller till the system get power supply off so till the duration the system is remember the phone number and keep on sending the message alerts to the registered phone number directly Coming to interfacing connections, so we have interfaced this CAD board at A0, A1, A2, A4 and uh, buzzer at C3 pin and the GSM module at B0, B1, C7 for the relay, pin number B2 to B7 for the 16 by 2 LCD screen. So here uh, let us see the demonstration, uh, let me explain you the power flow also. So in our project we are providing 230 volts AC inputs uh, to this power socket and cable uh, which will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC and that will be converted into 5 volts of DC after the stages like rectification, filtration and regulation. So parallelly same 12 volts AC input to this or PC817 optocoupler so from there we are going to count the number of pulses presence inside the 12 volts of AC signal. So generally it is going to be the 50 Hz of frequency right. So now let us see demonstration before on the kit. First of all we need to insert a valid SIM card other than the GEO. So insert uh, HL better uh, for uh, faster response. So insert that in this manner. If you have the SIM with along with adapter, insert that into this cap and place that notch in this manner and lock the SIM card. Right. And now on the power supply to this uh, power cable. And uh, initially the welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen. So wait for the GSM modem get the signal. So here this particular light blinks fast initially. So whenever the blinking rate is slows down, right? We can see that this particular network LED blinks slowly after the uh, SIM card receives the signal. Then you can reset the microcontroller first, right? Remember that inside the SIM card on the power supply, wait till the GSM one got the signal. Then reset the motherboard using the switch. Press and release, right? So here, oh, just send a message of initially help all our small letters. So when you send the help message to the SIM card which we have inserted in the, into the GSM module, then it will uh, message will be read by the microcontroller and it will display the our phone number. Initially, it will show the phone number of Jeng value. Now the message received, and the system will reply back to you. right okay so send on or off to control the device to get to get the all the live parameters so now i'm sending get 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 so in this manner we can make the phone number or uh, like dynamically no need to uh, hard code the uh, phone number inside the microcontroller so if you want to change the number just send the help message from any phone number then this number will be replaced by the uh, new number and it will keep on sending the message alert to the particular number only. Right, so we got the live readings from the SCADA system is voltage 200 and uh, current 61 temperature degree for uh, degree centigrade and frequency 50 hertz. So now if is there any abnormality occurred then the system will uh, send the SMS alerts. So the above one is the voltage 
this I'm increasing the voltage by rotating that in clockwise so we can see the voltage increased so when the toss is a 245 high voltage and sending SMS alerts I'll just keep it as normal so high voltage 255 volts so now if you want to on the circuit breaker just send the O in on message once the system receives the message right at the same time you can send the off so all are small letters only so let's wait till the system send the message to you replied message right device got switched on and off so as of now we have seen the high voltage now make the voltage is low so wait till the system displaying the readings then only you can provide the input to this potentiometers so device got switched off right and now decreasing the voltage counterclockwise decreasing of the voltage right the low voltage and the voltage reading also will be given to us so the second potentiometer is the current I am increasing the current when it crosses the 100 ampere milliampere we can see the so we kept the I is going to be 200 milliamps right right actually 240 uh, milliamps we have set for the current right 250 milliamps so we have received right same for the temperature also So when it crosses the 45 degrees centigrade, then the system will send the high temperature message alerts. Right, so just now we have checked the high voltage, low voltage, high current and uh, high temperature. Coming to the frequency also, for that you can just disconnect this. Right, you can while connecting you can connect in any direction. So the frequency is zero. So we will receive the message for low frequency also. In this manner, we are going to monitor and uh, controlling to the GSM technology. From anywhere in the world, we can get the parameters, uh, so called scatter system, and we can control them by sending the message a lot of on and off to the SIM card. We have inserted that. So the main thing is, while we are, uh, before switching on the gate, you should have the SMS balance or main balance into the SIM card and use ATL SIM card for faster SMS reply.